All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to discuss money, 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 money sweeter than honey. <laughs> All right. So this is an update video on the video which I made in 2017. It's one of the most uh, viewed videos of my channel. It's named as the six week uh, money remedy video. You can find it in my um, what page? I don't know. When you go there. <laughs> <laughs> to my channel you will find it it's there in the top yeah so two years back i think i had made an update video on it right so if you are new to the channel and if you are not aware of this then uh, i'll pin the link of the video down in the description you can watch that video uh, it's a video on six weeks uh, just give some sweets and you get a lot of money all right so i won't speak about the video uh here because it's already there so please watch but there are so many uh things which i have seen uh from the last uh past four years so i would like to share all this here right and as usual if you're new to the channel uh then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation regarding your money or career then please go to my website uh you'll find the link down in the description section and yes, God is, he was, and he will always be there with you all the time, irrespective of how much money you have, all right? So now, let's clear uh, the air in the beginning. Many people ask me, why did I make that uh, video in the first place? See, the thing is, I had opened this channel on 5th March 2017. But as you know, most of the people who come to astrologers or watch youtube videos on astrology now this will uh, hurt so many people but let me give you a disclaimer there are certain things which i'll say in this video which you may not like so heavy stuff if you are watching this then watch it at your own risk all right so the fact of the matter or the fact of life as krishna says in bhagavad gita Yes, Krishna says that this world is a place of misery. Yes. So, therefore, it's a fact of life that most of the people have financial problems. People have problems in different at different levels. For some people, the problem is they are not having any earning. For some people, the problem is they have earnings, but they have too many expend, expenses because of which they don't end up saving anything, right? The, the people with problem in another category, which is uh, they have a lot of income and they don't have much expenses, so they save quite some, but then they are not able to grow their income, right? And among them, among these three categories, are the first one is the most uh, unfortunate, of course. Well... Therefore, when I opened this channel, I had got so many requests on, you know, so I'm not getting money, I, I can't stay, I feel like committing suicide, I feel like dying, I don't have any penny, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, I, 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 do, I want to end my life, uh, I don't know why God is doing this to me, I don't believe in God, I become an atheist after I have be, uh, become bankrupt or, you know, I've lost my job six months, one year, I don't have any job. I feel so miserable. I feel my life has no existence. Uh, and especially uh, men from India. So many men, they have said you know, that in India, you are as a man, you are only valued if you have a good career, which is, which is, uh, which is very true. So um, we are unable to find a girl to get married because we don't have a stable income or you know, we don't have money for you know, treating uh, our parents, uh, they are not in good health. We can't, uh, we, we are not able to uh, give a good education to our children because we don't have uh, the necessary amount of money that we need. Uh, we, we are about, we are forced to send our children to government schools where, you know, there are no teachers, they don't take attendance, they don't teach, they just come and they just go, right? Uh, no offense to so many good government schools, of course, but you you know the situation in India in many government colleges and schools even till now, right? Of course, IITs and NITs and IIMs may be an exception, but uh, imagine the situation uh, which is there in most of uh, the towns or villages, at least, right? Government schools. So, 
and so many people uh, had approached me regarding all this you know people from all three categories so so then i had talked uh, with so many astrologers and uh, dhawal ji from mumbai he uh, i had a discussion with him so this is his remedy i had uh, clearly told in that video right i'm just saying it again now uh, okay so uh, then i thought that yes we can make a video on this right so therefore i made that video uh, many people followed it uh, and uh, almost 90 to 95% of the people they have told me via whatsapp instagram facebook youtube that the remedy has worked for them bang on and uh, it has worked the number of times they have done this remedy that many number of times it has worked okay so for 95% of the people this has worked but then there are always 5% exceptions now within that 5% there 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 is like you know maybe within the 5 there are 2 or 3 percentage i mean uh 2 or 3 not in uh, among the total so it's like you know if you take 95 and you add 2 3 it will be 97 98 so the 2 3% said that the remedy gave results but not after 6 weeks like 8 weeks 9 weeks or 10 weeks okay and then there is this rest two person which say oh your this remedy is fake it doesn't work all right so uh, i would like to reinstantiate here that you have to check in your chart if you had done this remedy or if you are doing this now or if you are planning to do so six weeks is almost like one and a half months okay uh, so you have to see within uh, within this time span or preferably after completion of this remedy when is when when are prominent planets going to transit your artha houses okay so for example which are the artha houses the second sixth tenth and eleventh right so so suppose you, you your sun is transiting the 12th house now for example okay and then after 6 weeks you know it, it will transit somewhere you know in mid of your ascendant uh, Uh, then um, then then what happens then after again after some weeks it will go to your um uh, the second house right so similarly if it's transiting the eighth house then you know ninth then 10th then 11th 10th and 11th are both houses of money right so if it's transiting the fifth and you are in the fourth week then after two weeks it might go to your sixth house right so depending on the degree of sun mercury venus and moon these four planets primarily you have to see when are these four planets transiting your money houses right so depending on that you will be getting the results provided you have done the remedy correctly i'm telling you again and again and again if you have done the remedy correctly you will get the results all right it has never happened to somebody who has done it properly they have not got results in fact now uh, this remedy has become quite popular in fact there was a funny uh, uh, incident which one person told me uh, it was in mumbai and he saw this video and he went to give uh, this uh, gulab jamun sweets you know indian sweets as i had mentioned in the remedy um, and uh, he went and gave it to a watchman right watchman of his building and then uh, when he saw when he went and gave it then he saw there was already another packet of gulab jamuns right so then he asked this watchman what is this he said ki aap se pehle koi aur aake dekhe gaya before you somebody else has come and given me that right so i was like wow it's like uh, the same person within the same locality is getting this uh, right two times in a day imagine that person's fortune right <laughs> so uh, the thing is uh, this is this is how uh, this remedy has helped people so if you if you are jobless then this remedy can give you some contractual income or a new job or if you are having a job then it can give you promotion or it can give you new opportunities within your company okay or if your business and you are bankrupt you might get a loan you might get help from your family members or if you have contractual work you might uh, get a permanent job somewhere right so wherever you are you can go to the next level you with this remedy but you have to understand that um, there should be some indication in your dasha otherwise this remedy will not work okay so for example um, if if suppose in your dasha you know there is you are running a bad antar dasha for example and then you get a good pratyantar right 
suppose a planet is in the second house sixth house or tenth house or eleventh house when it comes to money so then you uh, get get then 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 when this pratyantar comes it is good if you do the remedy around that time because if you artificially do the remedy now of course you can do it any time uh, no no worries but if you do it around a pratyantar uh, so suppose you have a, a pratyantar dasha which is you know starting um, third week of october today is 7th september so uh, third week fourth week of october third week is good enough. third week of october suppose you have a very good pratyantar dasha or a very good antar dasha starting then best is you start now from this saturday right so then by the time it's october it will be you know like third week of fourth third week of october around fourth week actually so by that time you can be a bit rest assured right and if your dasha does not indicate uh, then the benefits will be very uh, it will be like very nominal you won't you may not feel as if you have got something right but now the thing is you cannot control your dashas because the dashas are fixed you may get a good dasha after 2 years right but do you keep waiting no in that case at least you can wait for good transits okay good transit means if all of your planets are now transiting um uh, maybe in the 7th house then this may not make sense to do the remedy now because uh, like sun mercury venus these planets and you can take mars also depending on your uh, depending on the transits of course so if you see that sun mercury venus are in the 7th for example or they are in the 3rd house so even if you finish 6 weeks they will not go to the 10th house they will not go to the 11th house right from the 3rd or uh, yeah from the 7th right or even from the 8th they may not go but if your sun mercury venus is transiting in the 9th house then within 6th house they will definitely be in the 10th house right or if they are transiting the ascendant or maybe in the 12th house then they will definitely go to the second house right and um, if they are in the 4th uh, house then uh, if they are somewhere midway then by the time 6 weeks are complete then your sun mercury venus will roughly enter uh um, the sixth house all right so best is you do this remedy when uh in a way that when you are about to finish the sixth week then these planets have already entered the earth houses okay so like uh, you, you can do it in a way that uh, suppose your sun is about to enter the 10th house so um, then uh, in this case you can do it in a way that sun has already entered the 10th house okay depending on your ascendant uh, as per the transit and the last week is remaining the sixth week now begins all right so then it's like the transits have happened and then you are about to now finish the remedy so then the results can come very quickly and if the dasha also promises then it's like bang on it's like it's huge humongous money will come on okay But again, if the dasha is not supporting, then uh, you may get some nominal wealth, all right, which might be enough for you to sustain, right? That's all. I mean, because dasha decides everything ultimately, right? Now, uh, apart from that, uh, it's important that you uh, also understand that uh, many many times people have asked me that, uh, sir, I did it this time, it didn't work, and I did it the next time, it worked. So is it that? first time it doesn't work or if you are running the show of malefic i was running saturn rahu it didn't work when i was running you know saturn jupiter it worked no it's not like this it doesn't depend on your horoscope it does not depend on the dasha that you are running okay of course it depends the it depends in the sense the result depends on the uh, houses which the dasha lords are involved with okay but just because saturn rahu are natural malefics it doesn't mean they will stop you from uh getting good results okay uh, and just because jupiter mercury moon venus are natural benefics but if they are placed in bad houses like 6th 8th or 12th now 6th is bit uh, tricky here uh 6th is also our house but primarily it's a dusthana house so in dasha if the 8th house and 12th house are involved then guaranteed you cannot expect much from this remedy but if it's a good house like second house 10th house 11th house or in this case even if the dasha is indicating 6th house then it can happen unless the mahadasha or antardasha or you know any other dasha the pratyantar the other two dashas are, are are not that bad so in that case 
even the sixth house can give you money okay but in general these three houses are not good right for finances we know that so don't think it's a natural malefic it will strip you and don't think it's a natural benefic so it will give you a lot of money right don't think like that so irrespective of your dasha irrespective of your uh horoscope placements uh you can do this remedy this should work and um, the next thing that i got to hear is uh, many times people told me that um, they have given uh, the sweets in a temple or in a you know, gurudwara or in a mosque or in a church or in some religious place and then they have seen this remedy doesn't work right so yeah uh, the thing is you should give this to preferably to one person because if you go and give it to a pujari in a temple you know or to some some you know, holy, holy person who is you know in charge of a particular holy place then what's the guarantee that this person will give it to somebody necessarily i mean i'm not saying that person will not that person may forget to give right or the person may by mistake give four of the sweets instead of six right they may give five or they may they may say oh this is damaged you know the throw one and give the remaining five so then the whole remedy will be damaged right this will not work so therefore you really have to understand that best uh, i'll tell you the best case scenario best case scenario is uh, you find somebody who is very needy and you give it to that person male female no problem no concern of age okay uh but it's of course preferable that uh, you give it to somebody who is very needy right rather than giving uh, it to somebody who uh, who who you know any will anyways will not eat it right that's like the last thing you can do so for example if you see somebody who is like you know very desperate who you know or you feel at least that they might need to eat something then you give it to them because then you know that they will be eating right now then the question is what if they don't eat what if they say oh i don't like this i mean what if they accept it and you think oh i have given it but then they eat one or two and then they are like ah throw the rest you know i don't need it i i i i am not going to eat it right so then what do you do will the remedy work or not well in my opinion it it will work because you have done your part right giving it to one person so now that is his or her responsibility and his or her free will to decide if they want to eat it or throw it right or give it to somebody else that's none of our business right um, but uh, to whatever extent possible give it to somebody who is very needy because then you can be rest assured that this person will be taking this okay and uh, apart from this there are so many questions which come up so for example um now sometimes people say that oh i do not find uh, i do not find beggars right uh, even here in europe it's very difficult to find beggars uh, or i don't find anybody who might be needy right or in europe or in america in the, in the developed country sometimes even if you go and give it to people they are very suspicious because um uh, they do not they hard they have hardly seen charity in their life right in the west uh, uh but in india it's very common you know somebody giving you some prasad or something to strangers right it's very common like you know social programs puja pandals and um kumbh mela and so many where you know people are getting things for free in temples uh, it's very common so in india if somebody sees you know somebody is giving you something unless uh, you are very suspicious you are most likely to take it uh, if they say this is prasad or something like this so if you are in the west and you uh, do not uh, do not find a beggar or somebody uh, and you know nobody is going to take it because uh, in the west people are very suspicious you know what they have given maybe there is some poison or something like this generally i have heard this from indians who stay in the west or westerners also that it's very difficult to give something because they have not seen it from their whole life so they feel maybe this is very dangerous there may be a bomb or there is some poison in it okay no offense to westerners but that's how the culture is so it's very difficult to uh, give something to somebody right so in that case what do you do well in that case you can give it to uh, some friend or some relative or some neighbor okay you can give it to them but there is a condition 
you should not accept anything back from them in return for those entire six weeks okay so um, you, you you can give them uh, you can say that you know oh, this is a goodwill gesture from our side you know to your neighbor or anybody that you find uh, try to not speak a lie and try to uh, uh, not speak, uh, the, not say this also because if you say you know, oh, I am doing six week remedy and you know you take this, then the person will intimate, oh my God, what is this? You know, even though it's nothing, I mean you can just uh, take them and eat it, right? Who would not love to? But people, if you say this to people, then they may get intimidated. So depending on how they are, depending on how your relationship is with them, uh, you might have to uh, say in a way that. You do not speak lies, and uh, you you are also not intimidating that person, right? So that I will leave it up to you. What you should say and how you should say it, when you should say it, right? Um, or you can give it and say them later. You can say, "Oh yeah, I will tell you later why I am giving this to you." And maybe if if they don't contact you, don't contact them, <laughs> right? So, uh, but you cannot take anything from them in return. Okay, this is very important because. No, not you should not even drink water at their place. Okay, friends, family members, family means not. Of course, you can't give it to your husband, wife, mother, father, children. Of course, you can't. You uh, relatives, uh, I mean, some distant relative whose home you never go, right? Maybe that person is a good uh, candidate for this. The the lesser that they have done for you, the better it is for you, right? The better. Uh, a candidate they become as a recipient, right? <laughs> because then the probability that they will do something back uh, to you, uh, for you, is is almost uh, zero, near to zero, right? Because you do not have a very intimate relationship with them. Okay, the more the intimacy, more the problem. Because then they will give you something, and you can't accept. Uh, you can't accept, but you can't deny, right? Especially in India, if you go and give something in Vedic culture, it's a it's a norm that if you give something, then they never give you the empty uh, vessel, right? They always give something. So that's why give in a packet, don't give in a plate or anything, right? Because that will spoil the thing. Because then they'll say, oh yeah, yeah, I will also give you some ladu. You know, you take it from our side and you have it, and then it's like that's a disaster, all right? And imagine you have done it for four weeks and this is the fifth week or sixth week and somebody gives you laddus in return. It's like, wow, disaster. <laughs> the whole remedy will fail, all right, if you accept something in return. Now, there are some people who have also told me that, you know, they have accepted something like one or two weeks in return. They give it to their family, relative or somebody and uh, some neighbor. And still the remedy worked. But I would say don't expect it to work because ideally this is like this is like a remedy which you are doing so you are not this is, you are not supposed to accept anything in return all right so go with this mindset that i am not taking anything that's all if the world is collapsing and somebody comes and gives you maybe you can accept <laughs> but put it in your mind i am not taking anything from that person no ma no money no water no food no fruits no dry fruits, nothing, right? Tell them that you are fasting whole day. <laughs> All right, uh, tell them that you are not eating, you don't like sweets, nothing doing, just give and just disappear. All right. And as I said, try your best to, to ensure that they are eating, but then don't keep poking after giving that. Oh, did you eat it? You know, did you eat? Uh, did you eat or did you give it to somebody else? Kitna diya, kitna fake diya, kisko diya, kisne khaya, kisne kitna khaya. Don't keep asking all this. Uh, all right. If you are confident that suppose uh, you know a neighbor is there and that person likes sweet sweets, then you know, always give them and they will definitely eat that. Right. So that should not be a problem either ways. And uh, of course, uh, you can uh, you can. Uh, Keep an eye on the person who you gave once. Uh, how is the person reciprocating? If the person is reciprocating, then you can uh, give again to the next person, right? So, yeah, sometimes there are people who have said that they went to a beggar and then they said that now for six weeks, every Saturday, I will come and give you this packet. Now. So you can go and make a deal, right? Who won't like to make such a deal, right? Where you are only on the gaming side, right? And uh, lastly, somebody had asked me that 
So, sir, will it happen that if I give these sweets to somebody and I get some money or something like that, will it happen that this person will get my bad karma uh, and I will snatch his uh, good karma? So, then uh, will I end up getting bad karma, right? So, yeah, it's a good question, but I don't think that will work because you are not doing any harm to that person, right? And when you are giving the sweets, you are using your own money. And, and yes, very important, you should use your own money, okay? So, in fact, there was a man who told me that, oh, I am the primary uh, bread earner in my family and my wife, uh, she's a housewife and my children are there. So, I am uh, outside in Dubai, my wife is there. Uh, okay. Can she do it on my behalf, okay? I said, no, better is you do it, okay? So... It's the other way around. If you are a lady and you are working and you you want to do it, then you do it. The money that you give should go from your account. All right. Uh, yeah. So try your best to keep it to you. Okay. If you are the one doing it, and if uh, somebody is in a really bad shape and then there's nobody, then uh, maybe you can think of ways by which you know you can do on somebody's behalf, but. Generally, it's a no, no, no. You have to do your own remedy, all right? You have to do your own part, okay? And if you are in a place where you can't do, then if you are about to go to India or some other place where you can give, then better is to start after going there, all right? Uh, yeah, there are so many stories which has uh, come up from this, uh, sto uh, from this remedy where people... Give it to whom, how, when, and I, I can go on and on telling uh, different stories. But in a sense, uh, this remedy has really worked wonders very beautifully. And I would love to know your experiences uh, regarding this remedy down in the comment section. All right. Um, so please let me know. And you can also describe the incidents, how you gave it to whom. And uh, when did you get some new opportunity? Was it immediately? Was it in between? Or was it after the sixth week? Or was it in the seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth? Let's do some uh, data collection as I do uh, in data science. All right. We can do more machine learning on that later. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This video had been very long, but yeah, I wanted to cover all this. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. If you are new, then please subscribe and the link to the video is down. And if you want a consultation, please go to my website down below. Thank you.